Good morning, hockey fans. Welcome to the 2022 NHL trade deadline. And I'm going to be frank with all of you. If you ex if I expected to wake up this morning and see the Winnipeg Jets as being one of the most active teams to start the day, I would have laughed at you hysterically and probably passed out because of laughing at you so much. But God damn it, I wake up and the Jets have made some very interesting moves and are looking out to be a very, very busy day for the Winnipeg Jets. So let's jump into this right now and start going over these trades because the Jets have made a good amount of them. So we're going to start things off with the most recent trade that went down, which I actually think is kind of an awesome trade, even though I just talked about Nathan Smith. And that is a fourth round pick coming to the Winnipeg Jets in exchange for Brian Little and Nathan Smith. Now, basically what we can take away from this trade is going over onto Dreger on Twitter. Uh, excuse me, we're going to talk about... Uh, Drager on Twitter talking about this is that Nathan Smith would not sign in Winnipeg. So it was rumored that he wasn't interested in signing in Winnipeg. I think this was originally broken from Brian Week, uh, Kevin Weeks, excuse me. And uh, yeah, Darren Drager comes in and confirms it basically and reassuring that he wasn't going to sign with the Winnipeg Jets. So basically, what does that mean? Is that, well, a guy that's been pretty damn good with the Minnesota State University uh, in the NCAA is not going to sign with the Jets. He doesn't want to. He was a pick from a while ago. Uh, and not to mention, he's a Hobie Baker finalist that recently was just nominated for this year's uh, NCAA season. And we just talked about him in a video. So if you are a Arizona fan and you want to learn a little bit more about your newest prospect, uh, I will tag that video right now. You can go check it out and learn more about Nathan Smith, the year he's had, as well as his time on the U.S. Olympic team uh, recently in Beijing. So he's a very interesting young player, and I think Arizona got a, uh, a really good one one here and honestly for the, the standpoint of the Jets I'm really happy with this because Brian Little you know he's not coming back let's be real we all deep down wanted him to come back for a playoff run but in, like in all real seriousness it's not going to happen so what this trade does is that it frees up the headache of dealing with the uh, LTIR and uh, bearing his cap and all that so I'm okay with this because now we just have that cap off the books completely we don't have to worry about LTIR or any of that crazy jumbo m mumbo jumbo going into next season and the next trade that went down is one that I called and I'm extremely happy about we just acquired as you can see right there a seventh round pick from the Pittsburgh Penguins in exchange for Nathan Beaulieu. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, Nathan Beaulieu. I saw this news originally breaking from Darren Drager on Twitter way early this morning at 2.35 a.m., which is ironic because me and Zach actually went to bed around, I believe, 1 a.m., my time, so close to 2 for him. If we'd stayed up just a little bit longer, we could have actually broke this trade when it happened, but goddammit, it happened very, very, very early, late, whatever you want to call it, in the morning of today. And, yeah, that was, like, the first me real move that I think happened po post the Mason Appleton trade. Uh, but, yeah, Nathan Beaulieu, for fans out there, if you don't know, he's terrible. He's not a good defenseman. He's not going to put up points. Uh, he, he just He's not a point producer. He's not a very good defensive pe defensive defenseman either. He's going to eat some minutes. He's going to throw the body. The one thing I'll give him credit to is he's a good shot blocker, uh, and he's good at getting into the lanes and jamming things up on, like, a power play, for example. But that doesn't mean he's a good penalty killer. It just means he's good at using his body to, you know, distract lanes. That's literally all it means because he's not that good of a penalty killer. Let's take a look at his advanced stats and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about he is just not a good defenseman uh, and this is a guy that's been given opportunity on the top pairing and the second pairing over the last couple of seasons with the Winnipeg Jets so yeah Nathan Beaulieu uh, for a depth defenseman for a seventh round pick and I believe there was a little bit of salary retained if not then who cares he's expiring at the end of the year anyway uh, I couldn't be more happy about this one I think that this is a huge win for the Jets uh, just because you get a seventh round pick for a defenseman that's trash like like yeah and you clear out that cap and the Brian Little cap's gone, and you get a fourth round pick uh, for a guy that wasn't going to sign here. So, so far, the Jets have moved out a terrible defenseman, a contract that was, you know, dead cap, dead cap basically, and a prospect didn't want to be here, and we've gotten a fourth and a seventh so far. So, at the end of the day, I'm pretty happy with that, and it looks like the Jets are shaping up to make some bigger moves uh, and acquire some more talent and bring in some more cap, because why else would you be shedding these moves and making these trades now? So, I'm very intrigued by what the Jets have done so far. Uh, that basically wraps up all the news uh, that the Jets have done. So, it's been a pretty crazy of a morning, honestly, not going to lie. Uh, and I cannot wait to see what else happens throughout this day. So, if you enjoyed this video, definitely subscribe for more NHL trade deadline news. We get closer and closer to that deadline today. Uh, regardless of the team that you root for, definitely consider subscribing. It's a great way to show support for this channel, as I will be covering as many news and trades that happen today within the NHL. So, with all that being said, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Uh, make sure to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, check out the Prairie Puck Podcast, and all the other affiliated links down in the description below. Make sure to sign up for a BetUS account today with code PIGCITY to get a 125% cash deposit bonus on your first deposit of $100 or more. BetUS
U.S. is one of the top online sports booking websites in North America, as well as online racing, horse racing, and an online casino. They've got everything you need to put your money where your mouth is. Sign up for a BetUS account today. Must be 19 plus to play. Know your limit. Play within it. So with all that being said, have a great rest of your day. Go Jets go. Peace, love, and positivity as always, and bye bye